Are you tired of feeling paralyzed by fear? Do you long to face life's challenges with confidence and resilience? Stoicism offers powerful principles to help you overcome fear and live courageously. In this guide, we will explore 10 important lessons from Stoic philosophy that can transform how you approach life's obstacles and uncertainties. By embracing Stoic wisdom, you can learn to manage anxiety, detach from fear-inducing thoughts, and cultivate a calm mind amidst life's storms. Get ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment as we delve into the timeless teachings of Stoicism. Lesson 1. Cultivate a positive attitude. Do you ever feel like fear holds you back? Maybe you worry a lot and it stops you from doing things you want to do. Well, Stoicism has some cool ideas that can help with that. Stoicism is an old philosophy that teaches us how to be strong and brave, even when life is tough. One big thing Stoicism talks about is having a good attitude. That means thinking positively, even when things are hard. Imagine this. You wake up one morning feeling worried about the day ahead. Maybe you have a big test or a presentation at work. Your mind starts to fill up with thoughts like, I'm not good enough, or I'll never succeed. These kinds of thoughts can make you feel really scared and unsure of yourself. But Stoicism says, hold on a minute. It teaches us that we have the power to control our thoughts. Even though we can't change what happens to us, we can change how we think about it. That's pretty cool, right? One famous Stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius, said something really smart. He said, the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. What does that mean? It means that if we think positively, we'll feel happier and more confident. So, having a good attitude is super important. But how do we do it? How do we stay positive when life throws us curveballs? Well, Stoicism has some tricks up its sleeve. First, Stoics believe that every situation is unique. That means we shouldn't just assume that every bad thing will have the same outcome. Instead, we should look at each situation with fresh eyes and an open mind. By doing this, we can see new possibilities and solutions we might not have noticed before. Next, Stoicism teaches us to face our problems head-on. Instead of running away or giving up, we should tackle our challenges with strength and determination. It's like saying, Hey, problem! I'm ready to take you on. This attitude helps us grow stronger and more resilient, just like a superhero facing a villain. Let's look at a real-life example. During the Vietnam War, there was a guy named James Stockdale, he was a pilot who got captured and held as a prisoner of war for over seven years. That's a really scary situation, right? But Stockdale didn't let fear take over. He used the teachings of Stoicism to stay strong and lead others through the tough times. Another important Stoic idea is being aware of our thoughts and feelings. Instead of letting negative thoughts spiral out of control, we can choose to focus on the things we can change in our lives. This isn't about ignoring our problems. It's about finding meaning and value in our experiences no matter what. So, how can we start cultivating a positive attitude? Well, it takes practice, just like learning to ride a bike. We can start by paying attention to how we're feeling throughout the day. Are we feeling anxious, sad, or stressed? By becoming aware of our emotions, we can start to change them for the better. It also helps to remind ourselves of the things we're thankful for. Even on the toughest days, there are little moments of joy and beauty all around us. Maybe it's the smell of fresh coffee in the morning or a hug from a loved one. By focusing on these small blessings, we can shift our perspective from negativity to gratitude. Another trick is using positive affirmations. These are short, uplifting statements we can repeat to ourselves to boost our mood and confidence. It's like giving ourselves a pep talk. Saying things like, I am capable of overcoming obstacles, or I approach challenges with confidence, can help rewire our brains for positivity. And finally, surrounding ourselves with supportive people 
and positive influences can make a big difference. Just like a plant needs sunlight and water to grow, we need encouragement and inspiration to thrive. So, let's surround ourselves with people who lift us up and fill our minds with good vibes. Cultivating a positive attitude isn't always easy, but it's definitely worth it. Stoicism teaches us that we have the power to choose how we think and feel, even in the face of adversity. By practicing gratitude, facing our challenges head-on, and surrounding ourselves with positivity, we can cultivate a mindset of strength and resilience. So let's put on our superhero capes and embrace each day with courage and optimism. Lesson 2. Feed your mind with positivity. Do you ever stop to think about the words you hear or say? Words are like magic spells. They have the power to shape our thoughts, feelings, and actions. Stoicism teaches us the importance of surrounding ourselves with positive words and ideas. Just like a plant needs sunlight to grow, our minds thrive when nourished with uplifting thoughts and affirmations. Imagine this. You wake up feeling groggy and tired, dreading the day ahead. Maybe you've got a tough meeting at work or a difficult conversation looming. Your mind starts to fill up with negative thoughts like, I'm not good enough, or I'll never succeed. These thoughts weigh you down like heavy anchors, making it hard to see the bright side of things. But Stoicism says, hold on a minute. It reminds us that we have the power to choose the words we let into our minds. Instead of dwelling on negativity, we can seek out positive words and ideas that uplift and inspire us. This simple shift in perspective can make a world of difference in how we experience life. One of the greatest Stoic thinkers, Marcus Aurelius, said, The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. This timeless wisdom reminds us that by filling our minds with positivity, we can cultivate a happier and more fulfilling life. But how do we go about feeding our minds with positivity? Well, Stoicism offers some practical strategies to help us do just that. First, pay attention to the talk in your mind. Notice the thoughts that pop into your head throughout the day. Are they mostly negative or positive? By becoming aware of our inner dialogue, we can start to challenge negative thoughts and replace them with more uplifting ones. Next, Choose your words wisely. Just like you wouldn't eat junk food all day and expect to feel healthy, you shouldn't feed your mind with negative words and ideas. Surround yourself with positive books, podcasts, and conversations that uplift and inspire you. Seek out words that reflect the kind of person you want to be and the life you want to live. Another powerful tool is affirmations. These are short, positive statements that you can repeat to yourself daily to reinforce a positive mindset. Affirmations like, I am capable of achieving my goals, or I embrace challenges with courage and resilience, can help rewire your brain for success and happiness. Additionally, practice visualization. Close your eyes and imagine yourself succeeding, achieving your goals, and living your best life. Picture yourself overcoming obstacles with ease and confidence. This mental rehearsal can help boost your confidence and motivation, making it easier to turn your dreams into reality. And finally, spread positivity to others. Just as you benefit from uplifting words and encouragement, so do those around you. Share kind words, compliments, and encouragement with friends, family, and co-workers. By lifting others up, you not only make their day brighter, but also contribute to creating a more positive and supportive environment for everyone. Feeding your mind with positivity is essential for cultivating a happy and fulfilling life. Stoicism teaches us that we have the power to choose the thoughts and words that shape our reality. By surrounding ourselves with uplifting ideas, practicing affirmations, visualization, and spreading positivity to others, we can nourish our minds and souls, leading to greater happiness, resilience, and success. So, 
Let's choose to fill our minds with words that uplift, inspire, and empower us to live our best lives. Lesson 3. Take care of your whole self. Have you ever stopped to think about how your physical health affects your emotional well-being? Stoicism teaches us that caring for our health is not just a good idea. It's a sign of our virtue and wisdom. Our bodies and minds are interconnected, and by taking care of our physical, mental, and spiritual selves, we can cultivate a sense of balance, resilience, and strength. Imagine this. You wake up feeling tired and sluggish, your body aching from a restless night's sleep. Maybe you've been neglecting your exercise routine or eating too much junk food lately. Your mind feels foggy, and you can't seem to shake off the feeling of heaviness weighing you down. But Stoicism says, hold on a minute. It reminds us that our physical health is the foundation upon which our mental and emotional well-being rests. Just as a sturdy house needs a solid foundation to stand tall, so too do our minds need a healthy body to thrive. One of the key Stoic teachings comes from Epictetus, who said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This wisdom reminds us that while we can't always control what happens to us, we can control how we respond. And taking care of our physical health is one way to ensure that we have the strength and resilience to face life's challenges head on. But what does it mean to take care of our whole selves? And how can we go about doing it? Stoicism offers some practical strategies to help us nourish our bodies, minds, and spirits. First, prioritize healthy habits. Just as you wouldn't neglect to brush your teeth or shower each day, so too should you prioritize activities that promote your physical health. This includes eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains, as well as getting regular exercise, adequate sleep, and managing stress. Next, practice mindfulness and meditation. Take time each day to quiet your mind, focus on your breath, and be present in the moment. Mindfulness helps to reduce stress, increase self-awareness, and promote emotional well-being. It's like giving your mind a much-needed break from the constant chatter and noise of everyday life. Additionally, cultivate a sense of purpose and meaning in your life. Engage in activities that bring you joy, fulfillment, and a sense of connection to something greater than yourself. Whether it's volunteering, pursuing a hobby, or spending time with loved ones, find activities that nourish your soul and give your life meaning and purpose. Furthermore, practice self-compassion and self-care. Treat yourself with kindness, understanding, and forgiveness, especially when you're going through a tough time. Remember that it's okay to ask for help when you need it, and to prioritize your own well-being above all else. And finally, foster positive relationships and social connections. Surround yourself with supportive friends, family, and community members who lift you up, encourage you, and bring out the best in you. Human connection is essential for our emotional well-being, and by nurturing these relationships, we can cultivate a sense of belonging and connection in our lives. Taking care of our whole selves, body, mind, and spirit, is essential for living a happy, healthy, and fulfilling life. Stoicism teaches us that our physical health is the foundation upon which our mental and emotional well-being rests. By prioritizing healthy habits, practicing mindfulness and meditation, cultivating purpose and meaning, practicing self-compassion and self-care, and fostering positive relationships, we can nourish our bodies, minds, and spirits, leading to greater balance, resilience, and strength. So, let's embrace the wisdom of Stoicism and prioritize our well-being knowing that when we take care of ourselves, we are better able to face life's challenges with courage and grace. Lesson 4. Cultivate Gratitude Have you ever stopped to appreciate the little things in life? Stoicism teaches us the power of gratitude, the practice of acknowledging and appreciating the blessings, big and small, 
that enrich our lives. By cultivating gratitude, we can shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, leading to greater happiness, contentment, and fulfillment. Imagine this. You wake up to the warmth of the sun streaming through your window, the gentle chirping of birds outside, and the smell of freshly brewed coffee wafting through the air. In that moment, you pause to appreciate the simple joys of life, the gift of a new day, the beauty of nature, and the comfort of a warm beverage. Despite life's challenges and uncertainties, you feel a sense of peace and gratitude wash over you. But Stoicism says, hold on a minute. It reminds us that gratitude is not just a fleeting feeling, it's a practice, a way of life. Just as a gardener tends to their plants with care and attention, so too should we nurture and cultivate gratitude in our hearts and minds. One of the greatest Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius, reflected on the fleeting nature of life and urged us to appreciate the present moment. He said, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This simple yet profound insight reminds us to treasure the gift of life and all the blessings it brings. But how do we cultivate gratitude in our daily lives? And what are some practical ways to practice gratitude? Stoicism offers some timeless strategies to help us cultivate a grateful mindset. First, practice mindfulness and presence. Take time each day to pause, breathe, and be fully present in the moment. Notice the sights, sounds, and sensations around you, and appreciate the beauty and wonder of life unfolding in real time. Mindfulness helps to anchor us in the present moment, making it easier to recognize and appreciate the blessings that surround us. Next, keep a gratitude journal. Take a few minutes each day to write down three things you're grateful for. They can be as simple as a delicious meal, a kind gesture from a friend, or a beautiful sunset. By regularly acknowledging and recording the things we're grateful for, we train our minds to focus on the positive aspects of life, even in the face of adversity. Additionally, practice gratitude in difficult times. When life throws us curveballs and challenges, it can be easy to dwell on the negatives and overlook the positives. But Stoicism teaches us to find silver linings in even the darkest of clouds, to see challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. By reframing our perspective and finding reasons to be grateful, we can cultivate resilience and strength in the face of adversity. Furthermore, express gratitude to others. Take time to thank the people in your life who make a difference, whether it's a family member, friend, co-worker, or stranger. A simple thank you or act of kindness can brighten someone's day and deepen your connections with others. By expressing gratitude to those around us, we not only spread positivity and goodwill, but also reinforce our own sense of gratitude and appreciation. And finally, cultivate an attitude of abundance. Instead of focusing on what we lack or what we wish we had, Stoicism encourages us to recognize the abundance that already exists in our lives. Whether it's our health, relationships, opportunities, or simple pleasures, there is much to be grateful for if we take the time to look. Lesson 5. Set Attainable Goals Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the pressure to achieve lofty goals or unrealistic expectations? Stoicism offers valuable insights into the importance of setting attainable goals, goals that are within our reach and aligned with our abilities and circumstances. By setting attainable goals, we can avoid feelings of frustration, burnout, and disappointment, and instead, experience a sense of progress, satisfaction, and fulfillment. Imagine this. You have a long list of ambitious goals you want to accomplish. Start a successful business, write a best-selling book, travel the world, and so on. But as you try to pursue these goals, you quickly become overwhelmed by the sheer magnitude of the tasks ahead. You feel paralyzed by indecision, 
unsure of where to start or how to proceed. Before long, you find yourself stuck in a cycle of procrastination and self-doubt, wondering if you'll ever achieve your dreams. But Stoicism says, hold on a minute. It reminds us that while it's important to set ambitious goals and dream big, it's equally important to set goals that are realistic and achievable. Just as a skilled navigator charts a course based on the winds and currents, so too should we set goals that take into account our strengths, limitations, and the circumstances in which we find ourselves. One of the key Stoic teachings comes from Zeno, the founder of Stoicism, who said, it's better to trip over your feet than on your tongue. This wise advice underscores the importance of moving forward with clarity and purpose, rather than getting bogged down by unrealistic expectations or unattainable goals. But what does it mean to set attainable goals? And how can we go about doing it? Stoicism offers some practical strategies to help us set goals that are within our reach and conducive to our overall well-being. First, assess your strengths and limitations. Take stock of your skills, resources, and circumstances, and consider how they align with your goals. Are your goals in line with your abilities and resources, or are they unrealistic, given your current situation? By taking a realistic inventory of your strengths and limitations, you can set goals that are both challenging and achievable. Next, break down your goals into smaller, more manageable tasks. Rather than trying to tackle a big goal all at once, break it down into smaller, bite-sized tasks that you can tackle one step at a time. This not only makes your goals feel more manageable, but also allows you to track your progress and celebrate your successes along the way. Additionally, set SMART goals. Goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. By setting clear and specific goals with measurable outcomes, you can better track your progress and stay motivated to achieve them. SMART goals also help you avoid vague or ambiguous goals that can lead to frustration and confusion. Furthermore, be flexible and adaptable in your goal-setting process. Recognize that life is unpredictable and circumstances may change unexpectedly. Be willing to adjust your goals as needed and pivot in response to new information or changing circumstances. By remaining flexible and open-minded, you can adapt to new challenges and opportunities as they arise. And finally, celebrate your progress and acknowledge your achievements along the way. Take time to reflect on how far you've come and recognize the hard work and effort you've put in to achieve your goals. Celebrating your progress not only boosts your confidence and self-esteem, but also reinforces your commitment to continued growth and success. Lesson 6. Embrace change and impermanence. Life is full of changes, some planned, some unexpected. Stoicism teaches us the importance of embracing change and impermanence, recognizing that nothing in life is permanent, and learning to adapt to the ebb and flow of existence. By embracing change and impermanence, we can cultivate resilience, acceptance, and inner peace amidst life's ever-changing circumstances. Picture this. You're sailing on a calm sea, basking in the warmth of the sun and the gentle breeze on your face. Suddenly, a storm rolls in, dark clouds looming on the horizon and waves crashing against your boat. In that moment, you're faced with a choice. Resist the storm and risk capsizing or embrace the change and navigate through it with courage and resilience. But Stoicism says, hold on a minute. It reminds us that change is an inevitable part of life, a natural and constant force that shapes our experiences and molds our character. Just as a skilled sailor adjusts their sails to the changing winds, so too should we adapt to life's changes and embrace the impermanence of all things. One of the fundamental principles of Stoicism is the concept of the four virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. These virtues serve as guiding principles for living a virtuous and fulfilling life. 
even in the face of adversity and change. By embodying these virtues, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and integrity, knowing that change is inevitable and impermanence is the only constant. But what does it mean to embrace change and impermanence? And how can we cultivate resilience and acceptance in the face of life's uncertainties? Stoicism offers some timeless wisdom to help us navigate the ever-changing tides of existence. First, practice acceptance and surrender. Instead of resisting change or clinging to the past, learn to accept the present moment as it is and surrender to the flow of life. Recognize that change is a natural and inevitable part of the human experience and that resisting it only leads to suffering and discontent. By practicing acceptance, we can find peace and serenity amidst life's ups and downs. Next, cultivate resilience and adaptability. Just as a tree bends with the wind to avoid breaking, so too should we learn to bend with the challenges and changes of life. Cultivate resilience by developing a growth mindset, embracing challenges as opportunities for growth, and learning from setbacks and failures. By building resilience, we can bounce back from adversity stronger and more resilient than before. Additionally, focus on what you can control. While we may not have control over external circumstances or events, we do have control over how we respond to them. Stoicism teaches us to focus our energy and attention on the things within our control, our thoughts, attitudes, and actions, rather than wasting time and energy on things beyond our control. By focusing on what we can control, we can empower ourselves to navigate life's changes with clarity and purpose. Furthermore, cultivate gratitude and appreciation for the present moment. Recognize the beauty and wonder of life unfolding in real time and appreciate the simple joys and blessings that surround you. Lesson 7. Cultivate Inner Strength and Resilience Life is full of challenges, setbacks, and obstacles that can test our resolve and resilience. Stoicism teaches us the importance of cultivating inner strength and resilience building the mental and emotional fortitude to face life's challenges with courage, grace, and resilience. By cultivating inner strength and resilience, we can navigate adversity with confidence and emerge stronger and more resilient than before. Imagine this. You're faced with a seemingly insurmountable challenge, a sudden loss, a major setback, or a difficult decision. In that moment, you're overwhelmed by feelings of fear, doubt, and uncertainty. You wonder if you have the strength and resilience to overcome this obstacle and emerge victorious on the other side. But Stoicism says, hold on a minute. It reminds us that true strength lies not in the absence of challenges, but in our ability to face them head on with courage and resilience. Just as a sturdy oak tree withstands the fiercest storms, so too can we cultivate inner strength and resilience to weather life's storms and emerge stronger and more resilient than before. One of the core teachings of Stoicism is the concept of virtue, the cultivation of moral excellence and inner strength. Stoics believe that true happiness and fulfillment come from living a life of virtue embodying qualities such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. By cultivating virtue, we can build the inner strength and resilience needed to face life's challenges with courage and grace. But what does it mean to cultivate inner strength and resilience? And how can we develop the mental and emotional fortitude to navigate life's challenges with confidence and resilience? Stoicism offers some timeless wisdom to help us build inner strength and resilience in the face of adversity. First, practice self-awareness and mindfulness. Take time to reflect on your thoughts, emotions and reactions to life's challenges and cultivate a sense of inner calm and serenity amidst the chaos. By developing self-awareness and mindfulness, you can better understand your strengths and weaknesses and respond to challenges with clarity and composure. 
Next, cultivate a growth mindset, a belief that challenges are opportunities for growth and learning. Instead of viewing setbacks as failures, see them as valuable lessons that can help you grow stronger and more resilient. By embracing a growth mindset, you can approach challenges with optimism and resilience, knowing that you have the power to overcome them. Additionally, build a support network of friends, family, and mentors who can offer guidance, encouragement, and support during difficult times. Surround yourself with positive influences who uplift and inspire you, and lean on them for support when you need it most. By building a strong support network, you can draw strength and resilience from those around you and navigate life's challenges with confidence and resilience. Furthermore, practice gratitude and appreciation for the blessings in your life, even amidst adversity. Cultivate a mindset of gratitude and focus on the things you have rather than the things you lack. By practicing gratitude, you can shift your perspective from one of scarcity to one of abundance, fostering a sense of resilience and inner strength in the face of adversity. And finally, embrace the power of resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks and emerge stronger and more resilient than before. Recognize that setbacks and failures are not the end of the road, but merely detours on the path to success. By embracing resilience, you can face life's challenges with confidence and courage, knowing that you have the inner strength and resilience to overcome them. Lesson 8. Practice acceptance and letting go. Life often throws us unexpected curveballs, challenges, disappointments, and setbacks that can leave us feeling overwhelmed and defeated. Stoicism teaches us the importance of practicing acceptance and letting go. Learning to accept the things we cannot change, and letting go of attachments to outcomes beyond our control. By practicing acceptance and letting go, we can cultivate inner peace, resilience, and contentment amidst life's uncertainties. Imagine this. You're faced with a situation beyond your control, a missed opportunity, a relationship ending, or a sudden illness. In that moment, you're flooded with feelings of frustration, anger, and despair. You wonder why this had to happen to you and wish things could be different. But Stoicism says, hold on a minute. It reminds us that while we cannot control external circumstances, we can control how we respond to them. Just as a river flows freely, so too can we learn to accept the natural flow of life and let go of attachments to outcomes beyond our control. Lesson 9. Embrace impermanence and the nature of change. Life is constantly in flux. Nothing remains the same forever. Stoicism teaches us the importance of embracing impermanence and the nature of change, recognizing that change is inevitable, and learning to adapt and flow with the ever-changing currents of life. By embracing impermanence and the nature of change, we can cultivate resilience, flexibility, and peace amidst life's ups and downs. Picture this. You're cruising along smoothly in life when suddenly unexpected changes occur, a job loss, a relationship ending, or a move to a new city. In that moment, you're thrown off balance, unsure of how to navigate the uncertainty ahead. You may feel anxious, overwhelmed, or even resistant to the changes unfolding around you. But Stoicism says, Hold on a minute. It reminds us that change is a natural part of life, a constant ebb and flow that shapes our experiences and molds our journey. Just as the seasons change and the tides shift, so too does life unfold in a series of ebbs and flows, twists and turns. One of the fundamental tenets of Stoicism is the concept of fate or destiny. The idea that certain events are predetermined and beyond our control. Stoics believe that while we cannot control external circumstances, we can control how we respond to them. By embracing impermanence and the nature of change, we can cultivate resilience and adaptability in the face of life's uncertainties. Lesson 10.
cultivate inner peace and tranquility. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, finding inner peace and tranquility can seem like an elusive goal. However, Stoicism teaches us that true peace and tranquility come from within and can be cultivated through mindfulness, self-awareness, and acceptance. By practicing Stoic principles, we can cultivate a deep sense of inner peace and tranquility that transcends external circumstances and allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity. Imagine a serene lake, undisturbed by the chaos of the outside world. Despite the storms that rage around it, the lake remains calm and tranquil, reflecting the beauty of the sky above. Similarly, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a sense of inner peace and tranquility that remains unshaken amidst life's storms. But how do we cultivate inner peace and tranquility in a world filled with chaos and uncertainty? Stoicism offers some timeless wisdom to help us find peace and tranquility amidst life's challenges. First, practice mindfulness and self-awareness. Take time each day to quiet the mind and turn inward, observing your thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. By cultivating mindfulness and self-awareness, you can develop a deeper understanding of yourself and your inner landscape, allowing you to respond to life's challenges with clarity and insight. Next, cultivate acceptance and equanimity. Instead of resisting or fighting against life's ups and downs, practice acceptance of things as they are and cultivate equanimity in the face of adversity. Recognize that while you may not be able to control external circumstances, you can control how you respond to them. By cultivating acceptance and equanimity, you can find peace and tranquility amidst life's uncertainties. Additionally, practice gratitude and appreciation. Take time each day to count your blessings and cultivate gratitude for the simple joys and pleasures of life. By focusing on the things you are grateful for, you can shift your perspective from one of lack and scarcity to one of abundance and appreciation. This can help cultivate a deep sense of inner peace and contentment that transcends external circumstances. Conclusion Stoicism offers timeless wisdom and practical guidance for overcoming fear and living courageously. By embracing the principles of Stoic philosophy, we learn to cultivate resilience, foster gratitude, and pursue a life of meaning and purpose. As we navigate life's challenges with grace and fortitude, let us heed the wisdom of the Stoics and embrace each moment with mindfulness, gratitude, and virtue. May these lessons serve as guiding lights on our journey toward a life of courage, wisdom, and inner peace.